Streamlabs is sponsoring me to teach you how to use their product, CrossClip, so you can quickly and easily get your Twitch clips off of your channel and onto platforms where you can actually be discovered. I mean, you guys have probably noticed Twitch has no discoverability basically. So you need to get your clips out on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and TikTok if you wanna drive traffic back over to your Twitch Avenue. But before you can use cross clip, let's go ahead and get a clip first, right? So here's how you make a Twitch clip. This is m &J TV's channel, one of my digital consulting clients. Let's go ahead and grab one of his videos, go to your main Twitch Avenue, log in, and then go to your videos tab on Twitch. There you're gonna see your clips, your videos, and your past live streams, etc. And go ahead and choose the piece of content that you want to clip. Really easy. You can do this for your own content or someone else's, by the way. So I'm gonna just gonna randomly choose this stream. And then what you're gonna do is review the stream or the video, and then find the spot where you think it, it's, it's around where you think it's clip worthy by watching the piece of content and using the slider to get to the spot that you want. Once you get there, hit pause, and then there's two ways that you can initiate the clipping function on Twitch. So the first way is to manually hit the clippy button right here, and you hit that and it'll pull up a separate clipping window where you have a mini editor in Twitch. If you're making a lot of clips, I recommend that you just use the hotkey Alt X, Alt plus X as in xylophone. Boom. And then once you do that, it pulls up this separate window and it'll pull up the clip here and automatically parse that data over for you. Cool. So as you can see here, it's going to give you a preview window where you can review the clip and you can find uh, the precise part that you want to use. I recommend spending some time right here in this editing window and only finding the most engaging part of the clip. You can um, trim the front of the clip, trim the back of the clip, and really make it ultra tight. Don't leave any fluff here when you're posting clips on social media. The clip needs to start out as an interesting clip, and then it needs to be a banger as quickly as possible, and then it needs to end as soon as the interesting content is over. So I'm just gonna randomly select a part here because this is just an example. And then I'm gonna name this uh, cross clip uh, one. You name it whatever you want to name it and make it something that is intelligible and easy for you to understand for later with additional context, got it? Then go ahead and hit the publish button. Once you do that, it's going to go through the process of publishing your clip and rendering it on Twitch. And then once the clip is ready, you'll be able to take that and bring it over into CrossClip. And there it is. There's our URL of our clip. What you're gonna do is click that and it's gonna copy it to your clipboard. Now, what you're gonna do, if you wanna bring that into CrossClip, is you're going to go to this site right here, crossclip.com. There's a link in the description below. Crossclip.com is the site you're going to want to go to. Then what you can do is you can paste your Twitch clip URL right here, control V, or you can just manually paste it. And then you can click get clip and it'll parse it into the editor and you can begin using their editing software to actually edit your clip and make it a premium social media post. I'm gonna have more tutorial videos on how to go through that editing process and how to optimize your clip for socials in a future tutorial, links below, and thank you to Streamlabs for sponsoring this. Adios Twitch streamers, and enjoy getting more traffic on socials.